Hi, everybody, and welcome to the University of Nebraska Coliseum, where the first round of the Class B State Tournament is completed as we watch Geneva play Ord. I'm Mike Treps, along with Ken Fisher, Glenn May, and Dave Hanna. Should see a very interesting ball game between two fine balls. Geneva with a record of 16 and 3, Ord with a record of 16 and 5. These two teams did not meet each other during the regular season. Now let's take a look at tonight's starting lineups. Here are the lineups now for Geneva. Brian Seller, a six foot one inch senior, the captain number 43. Paul Farmer, number 23, another senior, five foot 10 inches tall. Number 31 is Dan Peterson, a junior, standing 6'1". Number 33, a senior, six foot two inch, Jim Nichols, wearing number 33. And Bob Gratup, a six foot four inch junior, number 41, averaging some 27 points per game. Some people have called Gratup the best player in the tournament, and that, of course, remains to be seen. Number 32, Richard Osentowski now for Ord, a 5'11 inch senior. Mike Zokoski, a 5'10 inch senior, number 20. Make that number 40, I'm sorry. Number 14, Larry Kapuska, a 5'8 inch junior. Dan Kronk, a junior, 5'11, number 24. And number 54, a 6'3 inch senior, Larry Christensen. Those are the lineups, now the tip off. This ball game gets underway. Christensen against Gratup, and it's Geneva controlling. They'll be in the dark uniforms. Ord in white, they're the home team. Dragging the rebound down is Ord. The Champs and the Wildcats. Two very good ball clubs, and as we've mentioned, they did not play each other this year. Shot on the rim, no good by Zolkowski, and the first foul of the evening has been called. Chalk it up to number 33, Jim Nichols. Free throwing for Ord, number 40, Mike Zolkowski. This is the third time we've watched Ord this year. We watched them against Kozad in the first game of the season, and then a week ago Friday night, when we saw them play a ball game in the finals of their district tournament against Broken Bowl. But this is the first time that we've seen Geneva. And we understand that Coach A.D. Chapman has molded another fine ball club. The Wildcats with Grand Island Northwest, Central City, and Aurora. Three victories in the district tournament to earn their way into the state tournament. 16-3 and three record. Two of those losses were to Hebron. One of those losses was to Aurora. They won two out of three from Aurora. Shot by Kapuska, no good. Neither team has hit. Christensen rebound, tied up by Grata. Christensen and Gratup jumping, and the tip is controlled by no one. Ord finally comes up. That's Kronk, number 24. Ozentowski. Played just about a minute, and there has been no score. Ozentowski to Zolkowski. Ozentowski trying to go. Does. Misses. Christensen has the ball batted away and finally coming up for the loose ball is Brian Seller. Long pass down court, shot taken and missed badly by Jim Nichols. Finally a foul and it's called against Geneva. The Wildcats foul and Bob Gratup. Gratup a 6'4 junior. As we've mentioned, a lot of people think he's the best ball player in the tournament. That's quite a high honor for people to even think that. Here's Larry Christensen to the line. Six foot three, a senior. Ord making their first trip to the state tournament since 1959. They have never been state champions. Miss. Rebound pulled down by Brian Seller. And both teams look a little nervous in the opening few minutes. No score. Six and a half minutes remaining in this first quarter. This is Gratup. Swish. Bob Gratup puts the Wildcats on top as Osentowski brings it down for Ord. His pump from 15 is in and out. And a foul under the basket. It's called against Christensen. Larry Christensen draws the foul as we march to the other end. Ord is the second largest school behind Ralston in Class B. Geneva is the fifth largest. With Ralston, Ord, Holy Name, Pierce, and Aurora in that order. Free throw by Gratup is good. He has all three of Geneva's points. Ord has yet to score. 6.15 remaining in the first quarter. 
Zolkowski, Christensen in the corner. This is Kapustka. The Kronk to Zolkowski. Bad pass. And it's gotten back by Ord. Zolkowski, number 40. And another bad pass. This time Geneva keeps it. Grata. Into the forecourt very quickly is Paul Farmer. On the post to Grata, whose turnaround shot is good. Five to nothing. Grata has all of them. Ord trailing. They have not scored. Five and a half minutes to go. They want timeout. Five to nothing. Geneva on top. You almost saw the ball thrown away by Ozentowski. Zolkowski saved it as Kapuska had his back to it. Ozentowski driving, shoveling it off to Christensen, his shot and Orta scored. Geneva into the forecourt. Number 23 is Paul Farmer. 43, Brian Seller. The ball is going to go out of bounds and Geneva will throw it in. And Granup will key it in. Paul Farmer, number 23, he's been a fine outcourt shooter all year long. Jim Nichols shot, a little bit hard. Gradup saves and follows. Two more. You can see why he's averaged 27 points per game. It's now seven to two. Zolkowski drives too hard off the boards and a whistle. Foul on Larry Christensen. His second. Coach A.D. Chapman is currently in his ninth year at Geneva. When he first came to Geneva, the Wildcats had just won the Class C state championship in 1956. So he promptly moved up a classification to Class B and won the state championship in his first year, 1957. He came to the state in 1960, did not win it, and he's back for his third time in nine years. So Geneva's been state champion twice in 56 and 57 and in different classifications each time. Ozentowski, number 32, going in. He's up for the shot, which is banked off the board and down. So Rich Ozentowski cuts the Geneva lead to four points, eight to four. Nichols, number 33, shot on its way, missing badly by Brian Seller. Cleared out to Nichols. Bad pass, but Nichols saves to Paul Farmer, number 23, a five foot 10 inch senior. Here's Gratup again. He's got, oh, he missed this one. Coming out of that is Mike Zolkowski with the ball. Pass goes to Kronk. Ozentowski does not shoot. May have been fouled. Yes. Foul is called on number 31, Dan Peterson. Geneva has drawn three team fouls. Ord has drawn two. And Ozentowski's at the line. The last time we saw him, he had 13 free throws. Takes up where he left off. Eight to five, Geneva by three. They had one time led eight to two. Farmer carries it as he drives to the basket. Turnover gives Ord possession at the side. Ord starting three seniors and two juniors, and that's exactly what Geneva's starting, three seniors and two juniors. Of course, one of their juniors is Bob Gratup. 3.28 remaining in the first quarter and a whistle. Contact is called against number 23, Paul Farmer. His first and the fourth called against the Wildcats in the first quarter, sending Larry Kapuska to the line. He's a junior, five foot eight. Missed. Gratup clears. Into the forecourt to Dan Peterson. Farmer, number 23, back to Peterson. Geneva's, we've said, they're in dark uniforms. They're purple, and the chance in white with the red trim, Ord being the home club. Grattup inside, but foul, and Christensen has drawn his third foul. Brother, that's going to hurt because Christensen represents the only height that Ord has in that lineup, 6'3". None of the other starters are six feet. But substitution, Millard Hansen, a six-foot senior, is going to come into the lineup in just a moment. First grab up to the line. 
since Ord has only four players on the court right now, I'm sure they'd appreciate somebody else in there. But the official is not waved. Now he does. Hanson has waved into the ball game. Six foot senior number 30, Millard Hanson. Christensen gets a rest with three fouls. Gratup's free throw is good. He now has all nine points that Geneva has scored. Three for three at the free throw line as he hits his fourth. And the score, Bob Gratup 10, Ord 5. Three minutes remaining in the first quarter. Ozentowski going for the basket. Nice check off. Dribbles it off his foot, but a, f a foul has been called, I believe. Yes, offensively against Ozentowski. Each team has drawn four team fouls. However, Geneva's personnel, no one has more than one, whereas Christensen has three of the four Ord fouls. That's Farmer missing. Nichols can't get the rebound, and it's Ozentowski down with it. This Richard Ozentowski, after watching him last year and this year, too, is certainly closing out a brilliant career at Ord, a fine basketball player. Bad pass hurts Ord. Coming up with it is Paul Farmer. Geneva out in front, 10 to 5. They led 8 to 2, but saw Ord cut that to 8 to 5. Now they have a chance to go back in front by 7. This is Gratup inside. No shot. And a three-second violation is called against the Wildcats. The turnover gives Ord possession at the side. 2.19 to go. Ord with an enrollment of 174 boys, and Geneva with 126, both in Class B. Driving through the lane is Kapuska, and he's fouled. And it's Farmer, his second. That's the fifth team foul, and the one and one is now into effect for Larry Kapuska, K-A-P-U-S-T-K-A. Ord now hitting two for five at the line, and Kapuska can bring that to 50% if he drops this one. Nice rebound by Hanson. His shot is blocked out of bounds. Now let's see what they call. Yes, Ord will throw it in. They trail 10 to six. Both teams looking for their 17th victories of the year. Nice shot. A little bit too deep along the baseline for Zolkowski. Long to Farmer. He lays it up and misses. The rebound to Kronk. Zolkowski, number 40. Kapuska puts one up from the head of the circle, which is too hard. Kronk rebounds nicely and follows. Geneva 10, Ord 8. Underneath Granite, two. Man with 12 to eight. Oh, bad pass, and Ord has been guilty of quite a few of those. Farmer comes up with it, hurries it down to Nichols. Nichols driving, shooting, good. So Ord, after pulling within two, trails by six once again with one minute, five seconds remaining in quarter number one. Ozentowski, number 32. To Zulkowski, less than a minute now, 14 to 8. Looking for the screen that'll shake him. He pumps one up there now. Too hard. Over the rim. Gratup clears. The Farmer to Nichols. They move that ball down court. Peterson, number 31, back to Farmer. To Seller, number 43. 38 seconds, and let's see if Geneva goes for the last shot. They're certainly in no hurry to take it. Unless they can get it to Gratup, he'll take it, and down she goes. Gratup has 14 points in the first quarter alone, and Geneva has their biggest lead at 16 to eight as they've scored six straight points. Ozentowski looking for a shot. They seem to play to Ozentowski and Zolkowski, and if those two boys aren't open, this is Hanson firing it up there. No good, rebounded by Kronk, his shot no good, and a foul against Peterson. That's his second. Ord with a big upset of St. Paul in the semifinals of their district tournament and then a victory over Broken Bow in the finals as they move into the state tournament. 16 to eight with six seconds remaining to be played. That for Kronk is his third point as he steps for the bonus now. 
16-9. Rebounded in the lane, and a foul now. Who's got it? I think it's Peterson. If it is, no. Called against Jim Nichols, his second. And a chance for two more points to go on the board for the chance as Hanson steps to the line. Oh, in and out. Four seconds remaining. It's cleared out to Farmer. One second, no shot. First quarter over. It's Geneva 16, Ord 9. This is the tip-off, and it's Ozentowski controlling and moving in and missing a shot. Something you don't see very often. Peterson to Seller. Seller off balance, fires it up and drops it. 18-9. Zolkowski. Christensen, as we've said, was back in the lineup replacing Hanson. Down to Peterson. Geneva's been very impressive, I'll tell you that. Gratup, short jumper, Ken. First time I've seen Gratup, and what a job he's done. Ozentowski to Kapuska, and he's got one. Ord now trailing 20 to 11 with seven minutes left in the half. This is Peterson along the baseline. It goes to Granup. One-hander this time in. He's got 18 points. The record in Class B for a single game is 40 points by Omaha Holy Names Boylan. Foul against who? Called against Brian Seller, his first. Kapuska, one out of three at the free throw line. He has three points. Ozentowski, Kronk, and Kapuska all have three points, and that's been a high point honors for Ord. So Kapuska now has four. And Ozentowski clears it to Kapuska, who shot no good. Rebounded to Peterson. Nice lead out pass to Nichols. And the purple clad Wildcats get down the court. Nichols to Seller. Peterson shooting and missing. Kapuska rebounding it for Ord. And has it batted away, but it's saved by Ozentowski. He fires from 25 feet. In and out. Grata clears. Nichols, number 33. Peterson is open, does not shoot. Seller. Rebounded no good by Peterson, by Granup. 20 points for Granup. 24 to 12. Kapuska shooting. They can't hit. Ord a little bit cold in the field. Ozenkoski saves and is fouled by Granup. His second. 24 to 12. Geneva with their biggest lead as Ozenkoski goes to the line. This boy is a superb free thrower from what we've seen. 24-14, Ozentowski now has five. And that could be a charging foul, yes. Charging foul on Paul Farmer, that's his third foul. 5.08 left at half, Ord's ball.
Kapuska in the lane, thinks better and turns down the shot to Ozentowski. Loose ball, Geneva. Whoa! It'll be thrown in by the Wildcats at the side. Grant up with a long one-hander. Doesn't make any difference. Shoot him short or shoot him long. That ball goes in when he gets it. 22 points already. Shot missed by Zolkowski. Saved by Kronk to Ozentowski. Christensen around Braddock, no shot. Ozentowski goes in. Nice play. Best thing the shot. Rebound to Nichols. Tipped out of bounds by Ozentowski. Kronk goes out, and Hansen re enters the lineup for the chance. Sellers shot on the rim, no good. Braddock's got it. Missed and fouled. That's four on Christensen. He's going to have to come out of the lineup for good now or for a little while. Time out on the floor with 3.50 to go. Here we go now, back to play. Lyle Christensen, six foot four inch freshman and brother of Larry Christensen, has entered the Ord lineup and he'll draw the unenviable task of guarding Gratup. Second shot by Gratup is no good, and a foul is called on Paul Farmer, and that's his fourth. Ozentowski at the free throw line. He's three for three there. 27 to 14, Geneva. Twenty-seven, sixteen, an eleven-point edge for Geneva. There's Grant up again, firing from twenty. What a display of shooting! Twenty-five points already. Twenty-nine to sixteen. Ozentowski and a foul is going to be called on Farmer. That's. Three on Farmer, so we have uh, to check our fouls. We had him down for four. Ozentowski, who doesn't miss at that free throw line, has now hit six in a row as he looks for number seven here. Boy, he does a fine job. We told you a while ago that he had, I think, 13 in a row the last time we'd seen him before he missed. Here's Grad up again. 27 points. 21, make that 31 to 18. Three minutes remaining in the first half. Braddock has 27 of the 31 points. Zolkowski's shot hangs on the rim, and there's Ozentowski to go back up for it, but he can't hold it. Tipped out of bounds by Braddock. This time it's off Hanson, thrown in by Geneva. Seller, there's Grad up again. Twenty-nine points. Thirty-three to eighteen.
You know, as we've told you before the ball game, I heard a lot of people say this is the best ball player in the tournament, and we've seen some fine ones throughout the year, but the more we watch this boy throughout the first half, the more we believe it. He has done a job, hasn't he? Here's Millard Hansen with a one and one now for Ord. And Gratup clears the boards. Farmer down court to Seller. And Peterson loses it out of bounds. Ord's ball, 2-11 left. Substitutions now in for Geneva. Gaylord Craddock, number 45, a six-foot junior, is into the lineup. Peterson comes out. Farmer comes out. And we'll check his substitution. It's Steve Strickland, a six-foot-two-inch junior. Ozentowski. Zolkowski. Boy, he can't buy a basket. Lyle Christensen. Out to Zolkowski. Ozentowski with a long one-hander, which is rimming away. There's Gratup again. Strickland driving. <laughs> Traveling. A minute 27 seconds remaining to be played. 35-18. Trying to get it to Granup, almost threw it away. Nichols now, number 33. Gets his own rebound. No good. Rebounded by Hanson. One minute remaining before halftime. Ozentowski to Lyle Christensen, his shot. Tip by Zolkowski. Fine tip, and Mike Zolkowski gets his first basket of the night. 35-20. Here's Gratup way out. Let's see what he does with it. He's going to fire, and he missed one. Ozentowski rebounds. Kapuska. Hansen. Zolkowski from the corner. Good. Thirty-five, twenty-two. Nickel shot. Nice shot. Thirty-seven to twenty-two. Nine seconds remaining. Ozentowski rebounds his own shot, follows it. It is good, but the whistle is blown. With two seconds, a foul has been called. Uh, if that's on number forty-one, well, yes, it is. Gratup draws his third foul. Two seconds remaining in the first half, 37 to 22. Gratup has 29 points in the first half. Here's Mr. Automatic at the line for Ord. Eight in a row now, he has 10 points. Nine in a row. Whose ball? Clock did not start since it has to hit somebody's hand or be in play before it can be. Clock. Here's Gratup from midcourt. Missing. At the end of the half, Geneva 37, Ford 24. Second half gets underway. Gratup controls the tip. It comes off hockey. Here's Gratup going for the basket. Oh. Foul against Kapuska. This being our last telecast of the year, we certainly want to thank Glenn May and Ken Fisher for the fine work they've done throughout the year. Without them, we just wouldn't have had the high quality of film. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed bringing all these games to you. Certainly two finer film crew as far as Glenn and Ken are concerned, you wouldn't find anywhere. It's been a privilege for me to work with them. Shot missed by Zolkowski. Nichols into the lane. Rebounded by Christensen. Larry Christensen. 38 to 24. 
Ozempowski's fall away. No good, or just not hitting. They've got three on two. Farmer, the seller, Gratup controls, has it batted away. Kapustkum comes up with it for the chance. Travelers. Seven minutes remaining in the third quarter. Nice shot. Jim Nichols has six points, 40 to 24. Biggest lead of the ball game, and the Wildcats have led since the opening whistle. Kapuska going for the basket, hooks it up there, Gratup clears. Out to Farmer, to Nichols. This Geneva ball, nice play. Boy, that was a dandy. Jim Nichols. And it's 42 to 24. Chance just not hitting. They need a lot of point production from Ozentowski and Zolkowski. And field goal wise, they've only had three between them. Larry Christensen, number 54. Hansen to Ozentowski. Nice fake underneath. Christensen shot short, no good. Rebounded nicely by Hansen. He hits. 42-26. Bradup saves it. Fires from the corner. It's going to be short. To Zolkowski, and he loses it. Jump ball. Bradup and Hansen will jump in the center circle. Dark jerseyed Wildcats going to the basket on our right in the second half. Foul from behind, called against Zolkowski. Peterson has a pair here for Geneva. The only starter who has not scored is Farmer. Geneva, 44, Ord, 26. Ozentowski should get the basket, does. 44, 28. Farmer missing. Zolkowski clearing. Three on one for the chance. Let's see if they can get the basket. Christensen does. 44-30. Nichols driving was fouled. Ozentowski draws it. His second. So Nichols at the line with one. Geneva's hit nine out of ten from the free throw line this evening. Ozentowski missing. 422 remaining in this third period with Geneva leading 45 to 30. There's Gratup again short. Cleared by Farmer. He misses. Gratup's got the rebound and he may have been guilty of shoving off. No. Foul is called on number 30, Hanson. Gratup at the free throw line. Uh, 
That's his 31st point. 46 to 30 is the score. Granup intercepts. Look at him dribble that ball. He can do just about everything, can't he? Peterson gets his first field goal of the night. He has four points. And Geneva now leading 48 to 30. Kapuska hitting. Does it count? Basket counts. Nichols has drawn the foul. It's his third. Kapuska now has seven points in the ball game. Ord pulls to within 15. Farmer. Rebounded finally by Hansen. 3.20 remaining in the third quarter. Nice drive. Timeout call by Geneva, 3.07 remaining in period number three. The Wildcats lead the chance, 48 to 35. Into the forecourt now comes Farmer. To Peterson. Nichols. Farmer. To Grata. Good. Peterson gets the basket. Ozentowski in. Ah, nice work. 50 to 37. Nichols really going through there. And he was fouled. Zolkowski draws the foul. It's his second. Nichols at the line. They still have missed only one free throw tonight. They've hit 12 out of 13, Geneva has, from the free throw line. They lead 52 to 37. Ozentowski waits until he can find a shot and then takes it. 52-39. Nice play. Radup goes up, hits. 33 points for Radup. Jump ball, Radup blocking the shot by Christensen. Peterson off the farmer. Foul call on Hansen. 54 39, 118 left. Seller gets the free throw. Now the second. He misses. Zolkowski with the rebound. Peterson going down court fast. Whoa, contact all over the place. Foul against Kapuska. 
Last year, John Moylan of Omaha Holy Name hit 40 points in a Class B game. That is the single game scoring record in the state tournament, and that mark could be in danger tonight as 33 points have already been dropped by Gratup. Foul is called on Seller, his second of the night. 55-39, free throwing Zolkowski. Seller goes out of the Geneva lineup. Being replaced by Steve Strickland, the six foot two inch junior, number 53. Here's Zolkowski now. Grab with one hand, clears it. Less than a minute remaining in this third quarter. Grata passing. Peterson shot, no good. Hansen rebounds. Twenty-eight seconds and a foul is called. On Hanson, let's check it. Hanson. Gratup goes to the line. It's at seven out of eight at the line. That's thirty-three points. Thirty-four points. If he hits this one, he'll have thirty-five. And he needs only five to break the single-game state tournament scoring record. And these records go back way back. Foul is called on number fifty-three, Strickland. Up there for the one-and-one one is Kapuska. We have twenty-one seconds remaining in the third quarter. There is no doubt about the outcome of the game, but. There certainly is about a scoring record. I'd like to see Gratup get it. Of course, as you watch this ball game, you'll know whether he did or not. 15 seconds remaining, Peterson. <laughs> Nichols really went through there in a hurry, and with eight seconds, the traveling violation gives the chance to ball. Nice shot. Ozentowski hits at the end of the third quarter. Our score stands Geneva 57, Ord 40. Here we go to the fourth and final quarter, and the question becomes, will there be a new state scoring champion in a single game? Ozentowski controls the trip, drives to the basket, and misses. Braddock rebounds to Nichols. Gratup driving, shot, no good, but he was fouled, and this will give him an opportunity to climb that hill. Foul was called on Chuck Benda into the ball game for the first time for Ord, and Gratup has two. He's hit nine out of ten. Needs four more points to tie in five to get a new single game scoring record in Class B. He missed this one. 36 points now for Gratup. It's 58 to 42. Zolkowski faking across the top of the circle. Zolkowski shot banked off the boards, no good. Rebounded, however, and hit by Christensen. 58 to 44. Foul against Ozentowski, and now Gratup has a chance to pull within two of the state scoring record. 
He's hit 10 out of 12. There's one of them. Has a chance to get to 38. He does. He needs one field goal or two free throws to tie the record. He needs three points to break the record in Class B, which was set just a year ago by Moylan of Holy Name. Zolkowski's shot is good. 60 to 46. Nice steal. Sixty to forty-eight. Grant up ties the record. He needs one point to break the record now. Sixty-two to forty-eight. Certainly everybody here pulling for him. Hansen's shot is good. 62 to 50, six minutes to go. Gradup has 40 points. Gradup tips and misses. He's got it again. He's fouled and he has a chance to break the single game scoring record. Christensen has gone out of the ball game with his fifth foul. Six foot three inch senior closing out his career with six points. And now Gradup, hitting just one, could set the record. In case you wonder what the all-time tournament scoring record is, it's 46 points, and he could break that too. The Class A single game record is 38, as it is in Class D. B is 40, and Class C is 46 points. He's got it, a brand new state scoring record for Bob Gradup. He has now scored more points in a single game in Class B tournament competition than anybody else, and he's just added to it. Now he's only four points away from the all-time tournament record in any classification, which is Kurt Lauer's record of 46 points for Gibbon. Foul is called. Uh-oh, that's Gradup's fourth. Well, I hope he gets it before he fouls out. 64 to 50, and Gradup has 42 points. The rebound lost on the floor, picked up by Zolkowski. Checked that by Ozentowski. Zolkowski shooting here, rebounding his own shot, putting it back up, and again missing. Peterson clears it out. Long down to Farmer. Basket. His first of the night, 66 to 50. Benda, number 20. Ozentowski shooting, good. Ozentowski has 21 points, five minutes to go. Gradup driving, firing up, good. He now needs only one field goal to try the all-time record in any classification, which is 46 points, he has 44. Nice pass by Ozentowski, Zolkowski shot no good. It is tipped over and controlled by Geneva. Now they have the chance to give it to Gradup if they didn't do that. They get him 46 points. Peterson missing. Gradup tipping no good again. Good. He's got it, 46 points. 46 points and the next point will break an all time record in any classification. No one will have scored more points in any classification in a single tournament game. Traveling is called against Nichols, and this crowd doesn't like it. They want to see Grata put that ball in the basket. 70 to 54. Ozentowski missing. Peterson clearing and foul by Hansen. We're running out of room on our score sheets. Gradup has 16 field goals. 14 free throws. 
46 points. Timeout taken, three minutes and 56 seconds to go. Here's Dan Peterson now with a one and one. He has scored six points. Geneva has certainly been outstanding in the game that we've watched them here, our first of the year. But what a ball game it's been. Here's the second one for Peterson now. And this one misses. Braddock has stolen the ball. Doesn't have position for a shot. Oh, and listen to the crowd. They want him to have that ball. Every time he's half open, the crowd really yelling. 341, remember he needs only one more point to break the all-time scoring record of 46 points set by Kurt Lauer two years ago when he was a junior at Gibbon. Gradup is a junior at Geneva. Benda's shot is no good. Gradup clears. Gradup with more uh, pressure playing with four fouls on him. He's battling a four foul situation too. Ozentowski, head of the circle shot is good. Rich has 23 points, and his fine performance has been overshadowed. We certainly want to make mention of the job he's done. Three minutes to go. Basket counts. Foul is called against Benda. And Nichols to the line. Nichols has 13 points, trying to make it 14. It's 73 to 56. <laughs> 74 to 56. Double dribble, 2.59 to go. And of course, Ord now substituting quite a bit. Dan Van Zandt, a five foot 10 inch senior, has come into the lineup, replacing Zolkowski. Ozentowski stays in. Dan Kronk is back in, number 24. Back into the lineup for Geneva is number 43, Brian Seller. Farmer comes out, replacing him is Gary Sewer, a five foot 11 inch senior. Throwing it in is Strickland. Strickland to Nichols. They haven't gotten it across the timeline. They don't. It's Benda steals and misses the shot, but Ozentowski there to clear. Nice pass. Van Zant's shot is no good. Gratif rebounds. We have a whistle with 2.39 to go. It'll be an offensive foul against Nichols. That's his fourth foul. Van Zandt and Benda bring it up for Ord. They trail 74 to 56. Van Zandt. Ozentowski with a free throw, it's good. 74-58, Gradup dribbling in the backcourt. <laughs> he threw it right to Ozentowski and Gradup won't foul him. But he misses the shot. He's fouled. He has his chance to break the record. <laughs> Chuck Benda of Ord draws his third foul. And this may be the foul that sends Bob Gradup to a new state tournament scoring record for all classifications. He's missed only two free throws all night. He's got it. 47 points for Gradup, and no one in state tournament play in any classification has ever scored more. And Gradup now makes it 48 points with 2.04 to go. 76 to 58. Nice shot. Basket by Mike Nave, number 10, a 5'11 senior. Grad up again. He's got 50 points. Oh, Grad up is fouled out of the ball game. 
Coach Chapman is angry. And listen to the round of applause for Bob Branham. Everybody on their feet, and a tremendous performance it was. He scored 50 points. Broke every single game scoring record on the book. The announcement being just made of Braddock's record-smashing performance tonight. We're certainly glad we could have picked it up on film as our last ball game of the year. Foul called on number 43, Brian Seller, and he goes out of the ball game. Seller scored three points. The most number of points ever scored in a tournament was 105. The announcement just made that Roger Leitner of McCook broke the Class A scoring record also tonight with 40 points. Apparently there's been a technical, we don't know why, but Nave has missed both free throws. And now, Ord will play it in at the side. A minute 30 to go, and quite a bit of this crowd breaks for the exits now. Van Zandt in for the shot. No good, Peterson clears it out. Farmer, number 23, shot by Strickland is no good. Rebounded by Nave to Benda. Benda shot no good. Peterson gets it for the Wildcats. Out it comes to Nichols. To Strickland with one minute to go. Foul. On Van Zandt. up in his record-breaking performance tonight, hit 16 out of 18 from the free throw line, 29 points in the first half, and 21 points before fouling out of the second half. Free throw by Nichols misses. 47 seconds to go. Then this push shot is good. 78 to 62. Stolen by Nave. Loose ball, Strickland comes up with it, 30 seconds to go. Kronk shoots, no good. Strickland rebounds, 20 seconds left. Nichols to Strickland. Peterson misses, there are 10 seconds left. Kronk pushes one up there, no good. Strickland rebound. Shot by Peterson, no good. This ball game is over. What a ball game it's been. Geneva, 78. Ord, 62. Now for a look at the story. And it all centers about one man, Bob Granite, who's being mobbed on the floor right now below us. Bob Granite, first of all, broke the Class B scoring record and then broke the all-tournament scoring record with more points in a single game than anybody in history in any classification. So Granup with 50 points is the leading scorer. Jim Nichols had 14 points. Dan Peterson scored seven. Brian Seller had three. Paul Farmer and Steve Strickland had two. For Ord, Rich Ozentowski closing out a fine senior season with 25 points. Ozentowski with eight field goals.
He had eight field goals and nine free throws for 25 points. Larry Kaputska had 10 points. Mike Zolkowski had eight. Millard Hansen scored six. Dan Kronk had three. Mike Nave scored two. And Chuck Benda scored two. So Ozentowski with 25, leading Ord. And our final score again, Geneva 78, Ord 62. Hope you've enjoyed our telecast as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. And till it's our pleasure to get together with you again, Mike Trutz speaking for Glenn May and Ken Fisher saying thanks for your time this time. Till next time, so long, everybody. <laughs>